Hello everyone, it's Sue from Craft to Enjoy and welcome to my craft from this afternoon or today. So it's afternoon, it's almost evening now, it's getting dark out there. Um, today I want to have an idea of making a, um, well it's going to be look a little bit like a Parisian cake shop. I don't know, we're going to give it a go. Um, I've got the piece of cake stamp set, which I really, really like, and I've got the coordinating punch, that always makes things really easy. And um, I thought that I would start with a bit of mint macaron, because I love this colour. Um, yeah, this was retired, um, this colour, for a while, and I really, really missed it. And when it came back, I was like, yeah, it's back, it's back. So, um, I'll show you what I've done here. So I've got a piece of A4 in half, and then I've just trimmed... Um, an inch down an inch from there and then I'm going to hopefully put like a shop window look to it with some window sheet um, so yes I'm gonna have a go with that and we're gonna put like a canopy thing on here I think so um, yeah let's see how it goes so I'm gonna start making my canopy and attaching um, a bit canopies kind of have a scallopy bit on them don't they so I'm gonna try to do something I think it comes out a bit as well. So we're gonna get hold of that and use my score tool. I'm just gonna come down about sort of half an inch from the top, well, sort of half an inch, you say, inch ish in, if that makes sense. So I want it to get, come out sort of that way and then go down a bit. So I'm just using sort of half an inch increments here, hopefully. That should work. I'm just gonna move my scrimply scored out of the way. And I'm going to cut, I've just cut a piece of inch wide um, whisper white to make my scallopy bit on my, to go on my canopy. So I'm just going to follow that along. Um, make sure it's butted up nicely towards the, the edge and double check that, can you see where the, you've got a, a line underneath there, you've got to just make sure it matches up. So I'm just going to make follow that along. I hope you're not seeing the back of my head. No, oh, we're all a bit skew wiffy here. So I'm just going to go that, take that along. It's a little awkward when it gets towards the end because obviously you've got to pull it out slightly, just a smidgen, so it lines up. Doing too bad, that's not too bad. Yep. That's that bit. I've just got one more bit to do on this side. I think. I hope that's lined up correctly. I think that's it, hopefully. Yay! Just gonna get those bits out of the way. Oops, let's get those there. So my idea was to have that coming out that way. I'm just going to grab a bone folder so make it nice and sort of crisp and then sort of coming down a bit. You see the canopies, they have like a, like a almost like a, um, like a rain, bit of a rain canopy day thing, don't they, on them. So my idea was just to put a bit of that kind of about there. So it gives it a bit of a, Bit of a different look. I'm just going to start gluing that on. And you're just going to put mainly the glue mainly to this sort of like the bottom piece, um, the more scallopy edge. Oh, my glue isn't coming out. Move that glue around a little bit on my finger. It's a bit difficult to get something on there. There we are. So I'm just going to see if I can put position this. And I want it. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can just about see that. I want it so the scallopy bits just kind of off on the right on the edge of it. There you go. So it kind of gets rid of that harsh line a little bit. I think that's about it. Then my front piece is going to sort of go over it a little bit, something uh, 
like that. Let's get another bit of glue and uh, run that along. Make our shop, uh, get our bones of our shop together. That's going to be about kind of there. Then I need my shop window in place. I'm just going to let that dry for a few seconds. Yep, that looks pretty good. I, I, I tend to use a lot of red tape when I'm doing um, window sheets. It's quite difficult to attach that to something. So I'm just going to give that a trim with some scissors. I'm sure you may have seen me do it before. I always use a pokey tool. This is really strong, the red tape, one of the strongest tapes they do. But unfortunately, it um, is very unforgiving. So if you get it in the wrong place, you've really kind of had it. So, um, yeah, it's not... It's good. It's really strong. It's good. Oh, not so bad on this window sheet, but um, on anything else, it's not brilliant. I've got something on there. It's a bit of glue or something on there. So I'm just going to see if we can line that up. There we go. Oh, oh I don't know. I've put that on straight now. Oh, dear. Let's try it that way around. That might be better, mightn't it? There you go. That's much better, doing it from that side. There we go. And then I'm just going to put a piece on the top there as well. Did you see that? I hope you, are. you didn't miss that bit. So... I'm just going to put a piece on the top. Piece of ta red tape on the top as well. Let's get that taken off. My cat's just walked in and he's he's having a bit of a wash. So you can, if you can hear him slurping, it's not me. It's my cat. <laughs> oh. I think he's had a nice little nap. This is notorious for trying it. Diff really difficult to get the end edge of it up. But normally, there we go. We're in luck. So then I want to try and kind of line this up really, so it makes a card shape, size of a card. But I want it under there. There we go. So that's my card done. So I've got my. If you can see my my glass in my my my, my shop window. So then I wanted to, um, obviously every shop needs some goods. So my idea was to uh, make some cakes pop in the, in the window. So um, I have a scrap of um, Whisper White card here. And I'm just going to stamp out some, well, I guess some cakes really. Some delicious cakes that are good enough to eat. So uh, just let's grab my block. Oh, that's my, my block. Um... I think I might do some different sort of coloured cakes. There's quite a few to choose from on here that look quite scrumptious. So I might choose a couple. I'm going to put three, I think, hopefully. Yeah, well, three fit. I think three will fit on there. So I'm just going to grab some ink and start mounting. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. That's the right one. I'm just going to... Sorry, I think when I ink up my stamps, it jogs the camera. So I'm sorry about that. There we go. So... I'm just going to put that one on. One. Let's choose another little cake. Which one should we have? So we've got one of them. Uh, one of them. Two. And the third cake, I think we will go for quite a plain one. There you go. That's uh, one, two, three cakes. Obviously, we're going to put some top pieces on them. Um, I'm going to just colour them in quickly. I, I, there's, not, there's not too much sort of um, colouring in to do, but I just wanted to put a bit of colour on them. So I'm just going to very quickly... Um, I like pink, and I think it kind of goes with the with the colours that I'm doing here. Intricate piping on it. 
So I'm just going to just quickly dab a bit of colour in there. Nothing too technical going on here at all, really. I like a bit of colouring in. And then I thought I'd do perhaps a bit of Calypso Coral. Why not? And obviously we could if we wanted to. Again, colour the icing in. Again, not just really, really quickly whizzing along with the... I've got some... Um, Stamping white markers that I use all the time. These are water based and they're just brilliant for colouring in really, really quick. And obviously, they match all the card, stamping up cards, so they're really good. Um, very versatile, you can do lots of things with them. You can watercolour from them, you can, you know, do lots of things. And I thought I'd have a bit of a. This is um, lemon lime, what was it? Hang on, lemon lime twist. So one of the in colours, I like this very zesty sort of colour. I wanted it to be quite sort of a fresh sort of looking um, card for a change. So yeah, I was just going to quickly sort of colour some leaves in. A bit of green on there. And I'll just see where the other green is. I'm just doing a bit, teeny bit of Calypso Coral. This is this this just isn't taking very long at all, really. I might need a bit of yellow there for the centres of my flowers. Yep, let's go grab a yellow. Let's grab a yellow. I've got some daffodil delight here somewhere. Yeah. There we go. I'm just gonna finish off my flower. There we go. How quick was that? I'm just going to get my punch. And obviously when it's great when punches fit uh, stamped images because it's just so quick and easy. No fussy cutting involved. So we always like that. There we go. That's my right. one. My cat's just saying hello to you. <laughs> Hello, Zeta. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Oh, that's not quite in the centre. Oh, that got caught in there. There we go. So that's that bit done. There's my cakes done. My three cakes finished and obviously we might put some on top of them as well so um in there i also needed like every good cake shop has cake stands and this punch comes with a stand so love that too and I'll, i think i'm going to use silvery ones like you probably see in a cake shop this doesn't look out of place this um this sort of display in sort of Parisian sort of shops in the centre of Paris or somewhere. It's quite chic. So, yeah, just putting that in the bin. So, mm, I just wanted to put a teeny pencil mark on where my um, sort of line is going to be. Just so it lines up inside. So, I'm going to put three by three. I might actually do a pencil, quick pencil line so we know where it is. I can always take that out when I'm done. So they're kind of straight on my shelf. Grab some glue. I'll put the centre one in about about in the middle, just doing it by eye really. Yeah, very chic. Two and my third cake stand. This could be, you could be sending this for someone if you're going to a tea party or something, wouldn't it? This would be fab. Yeah, how cool would that be? There we go, put that in. That's my third cake stand. 
got some cakes to go on there. How delightful to grab across and grab some dimensionals. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to put on top some on top of them. I haven't quite decided that far yet. Sometimes I just kind of do things as I go along. But I do think these look rather cute. So what one should we put in the middle? I think we're going to put that one in the middle. So it's kind of sitting on its stand. Then a bit of that. I think my cat's in here and it's feeding time for my cat. It's his dinner time, so that's why he's a bit hungry. Um, so that they are my cakes. So they are sitting in their, their shop window. And then I thought about... Um, Possibly somewhere on top of them. So, um, candles, or we could. There's a little, little stamp here. I don't know how it's going to work out. There's a teeny stamp there. So you could possibly put some little flowers on top. Oh, oops, I've just chucked the block at me. Oops, I've gone on the floor. So, I'm not sure about that, how that's going to look. Might just do one of them and see how we go. Yeah, we'll just do one. Oh, I can, it's, it's quite a small stamp, so I'm just going to get over that a little bit and uh, see if I can get it in the right sort of place. I think I should have done it before I stuck that on, but no, it's not too bad, it's okay. So I'm just going to go and get a bit of the green again and just sort of go around my flowers a bit and try and colour them in a teeny bit. So it matches my ice colour of my icing. I'm going to put a, bit of a, a, leaf, a couple of leaves on there. I'm just going to colour in a different sort of green. This is a old olive, one of my old firm favourites. And there we are. I think that's about it. My shop front is, my Frisian shop is done. Obviously, I might put Happy Birthday or something on there. Oh, actually, should we do that? Or cut, it's got cut the cake. Happy, it's got quite a few greetings on here that I really love. So cake is the answer. Oh, I like the look sound of that. Cake is the answer. I'm going to go and grab. I'm just doing this quite off the hoof, really, as we go along. This is how I often craft like this, and it, it kind of, I have an idea, and it comes to me as I'm doing it. I'm just going to go and grab my meat macaron ink pad. I'm chucking across the room now. Um, and I'm going to do it the same. Uh, yeah, cake is. Uh, cut the cake. Oh, I've got the wrong one there. I was going to do cake. Oh, cut the cake. Cake is the answer I was looking for. Let's try and find the right one. Uh, there we go. get the right one cake is the answer there we go so I'm just going to pop that on the bottom in the center cake is the answer there you go so that's my um, cake stand you can see obviously when that when that is standing upright you will be able to see the cakes in that under the canopy of the shop canopy. That's quite cool. So um, thank you very much for watching today. Obviously, I do have a, um, a Facebook page, Crafts to Enjoy. I have, obviously, a YouTube. So um, if you're watching me, I know you're watching my YouTube today. But you can set the little bell. And so next time I post a video, don't you won't miss out. And you'll be up to date with all the things that I've been making. And I also have a, a website. So you can go onto my blog. I've got lots of inspiration over there. Crafts2enjoy.com, the number two in the middle. So thank you very much for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.